Hey, so welcome to the Architecture Underground. Today I thought we'd talk about framing, which of course is an essential part of any architectural project. Now I work on houses, and so um, framing is typically wood framed, stick two by fours, maybe two by sixes, um, balloon framing, um, all the different kind of systems. You know, let me, let me just be honest. I don't know a lot about framing. And like, I'm not sure that I could even frame my, I guess I could probably frame house. And I've worked framing jobs when I was in college or straight out of high school. Um, but I don't know that I really could give much advice on framing in general. And in general, I, I rely on the advice of people who know about things that I don't. And framing is one of them. So I would recommend that as well. Um, to verify my experience with not knowing anything about framing, I, I worked on a job at one point uh, framing these like sheds in like Wilmington, North Carolina when I was starting undergrad. And, uh, and that was uh, not a great experience. I got bronchitis because we were building them in a warehouse and it was just, the air quality was awful. So um, that's the first and only time I've ever had bronchitis. And then after that, I um, worked for a guy um, for one day and I was fired. <laughs> and then um, I worked for another guy for a day and we put all the roof trusses on and then a storm came through and knocked them all down the next day. So that job was, um, you know, quit belly up and done. Um, and then another time I was using, I was working on some kind of framing construction job and I, and I was using a, a air gun um, I, and I shot a nail into my hand, my left hand, and a, a big, like big framing nail. And then I pulled it out, went to the hospital and, and I thought, you know, maybe this isn't my, my bag. So, um, and particularly now as an architect, so it's, it's pretty obvious to me that framing Aside from um, looking at the framing on the plans and acknowledging the way it's built on site and, um, and reading structural plans, the general decision making and the application of framing is not really my, um, it's not my wheelhouse as I say. I feel like the term not my wheelhouse is used too much and maybe even like too much particularly recently. I feel like it's kind of a thing that's getting around. So, um, don't judge me for using that term. It just kind of was appropriate. Um, but so I would recommend hiring a professional framer or through a contractor and certainly relying on a structural engineer to decide what types of framing you're going to require on your projects. And, um, that would be my advice. Also do shoot nails into your hand and don't work um, in factories, in warehouses with bad air quality. So that I can certainly pass on to you as a solid tip of the day. So this has been, um, we'll call this a, a maybe a good morning minute episode on the Architectural Underground. Feel free to subscribe, like or dislike or comment or um, whatever is in sort of your wheelhouse of options. And um, we'll see you next time.